1963 in Leamington Spa in a time when racial tension was rife in Britain. Having a Jamaican father and an English mother, David Earl was to have an interesting childhood. It was to include race riots, broken homes and a fragmented family. This book takes you on a journey through the repressed childhood of a quiet mixed race boy who left school with only an O-level in art. It will show you how he managed to become a boxing and kickboxing champion, a town councillor, an award-winning youth leader and a respected member of the community, a community that led to him being chosen to carry the flame for the London 2012 Olympics. Dave describes how what was going to be his life story became a book that is aimed at inspiring others to be all they can be, and will show you how where you begin does not have to determine your destiny. Within the following pages, you will discover the stories that not only shape the life of a young mixed race child, but also some incredible stories that not only tell of Dave's own personal experiences, but also how he has impacted the lives of others. This book will show how hard work and focus can turn a person's life around, and inversely will also highlight how losing one's way can devastatingly affect the life of not only the victim, but how it can destroy the lives of the friends and families involved. This is a hard-hitting, heartfelt story that may lead you to ask questions about your own life and help you realise more about why you are who you are. Dave says, My mission in writing this book is to show that no matter what experiences you have had in your life, it is up to the individual to choose their own destiny. We are all born into this world as special people, and in our early years we believe everything is possible, until we are told that they are not by parents, teachers and other external influences. This book will show you that despite what you may have been told, you are still that special person and you can achieve far more than you possibly realise, you just need to believe.